Admission requirements for the graduate program are to fill out the application online. You can go to emmu.edu and click graduate admissions and there will be an application there. You will also need to write a letter of intent explaining how completion of this program will help you further your career and you will need to send two letters of recommendation to the graduate school program. Another requirement for admission into the graduate program is an undergrad GPA of 3.0. However, if you do not have that, you can be admitted provisionally in your first semester you will be required to obtain a 3.0 GPA. You will also need two letters of recommendation from professional or academic sources and those will need to be sent in along with your application and your letter of intent. In the Masters of Counseling programs there are two different tracks that you can do. The first is Masters of Education in School Counseling, which is for people that are interested in becoming a school counselor. This program is 48 credits and includes 300 hour internship over the semester that must be completed in an elementary, middle, or high school. The second option is the Masters of Arts in Counseling. This program is 60 hour and requires a 600 hour internship that is split over two semesters. This degree plan is perfect for people that are interested in pursuing licensure as a professional mental health counselor. The bonus option is doing the Masters of Arts in Counseling with the school counseling classes that allow you to get your Masters of Counseling as well as completing all the requirements for school counseling. This will allow you to work both in a clinical setting and a school setting. By doing this capstone project, we are providing an outside look into the perspective of a, of a potential client. This is done so that we're able to gain a well-rounded education that can prepare us for the workplace. Here in New Mexico, we are lucky enough to have the Equal Opportunities Project. For any master's level student majoring in behavioral health, you will be receiving reimbursement. Here at ENMU, if you major in counseling, you'll literally be paid for your time here. I'm a first year student and I received tuition reimbursement after this first semester, and I will be receiving another tuition reimbursement after this semester. Kate mentioned you will be doing a practicum and internship towards the end of your degree. This typically looks like a full-time job where you shadow a counselor, but if you do a practicum and internship in a rural area in New Mexico, much like Portales, um, you will actually get paid for your time while shadowing a counselor. Typically, practicums and internships do not, um, you do not get paid for it. And um, with the EOP grant, you will get paid for your, not only your tuition, but also as if it was a full-time job and um, receive money. I like to mention that whenever you receive your license, this EOP grant will pay for you to get licensed in New Mexico. ENMU also has two great graduate fellowships. They have the Minority Graduate Fellowship, which I was lucky enough to receive. Um, it is for uh, women, differently abled people, or minorities. And this fellowship will get you 11575 for the academic year. Also, there is the Graduate Fellowship, which is for anyone who has a GPA 3.7 or higher and that will get you 9,600 for the academic year. Um, feel free to look on ENMU's website and get more information.